Hey everybody, it's Ryan. We are about to head out to the Scott Auction. If you guys will remember last year, we went to Scott's Auction and we found some pretty good deals. And uh, we were a little bit, uh, a little sad that we weren't prepared for that auction. And uh, anyway, I decided for sure that we're gonna go again this year. Um, this morning it was around two degrees when I got up and today's high is about 15. Winter's definitely being relentless this year. So, uh, got my checkbook here. Hopefully I don't need it. We're gonna hop in the truck and head over to Scott's and see how the auction's coming along. So we're at the Scott's auction now, and I'm just kind of wandering around looking at the, the inventory. Um, I saw the ad that they had online but it really didn't have all that much on it, especially with like the pictures and stuff that they had. Um, there's quite a few, not a whole lot of tractors on it, a few John Deere's. Uh, looks like Scott's threw a couple Masseys on the sale. There's a large Parker Green cart over there. I don't know. Um, I'll let you guys kind of dwell on what I might be looking at, but I've kind of hinted at it in the past, but We'll see. I'm not really here serious to buy right now, but if there is as good of a deal this year on the thing that I'm looking for, um, I'm, I probably wouldn't let it go again. <laughs> but last year I was actually outbid. Oh, actually, no, I take that back. I didn't bid on it at all. I was about to start bidding, and it, got, it just got out of my price range. And I was actually bidding against my second cousin. So, and uh, it was just kind of funny, but small Kilbros wagon, some DMIs. Engine problems. Now there's a deal, if it would run. There you go, guys. A small square baler, just what I came here for. <sighs> so what I'm actually looking for is a skid loader because at my place, it is kind of getting old and tedious having to run the bobcat out, dad's bobcat, out to my place every time we want to feed. Um, down at Travis's, we feed out with 76. So it'd be nice to have something that I could feed cattle with that wouldn't take so long to feed out at my place because right now it's at least an hour job uh, by the time you go back and forth if the cattle really don't need that much hay or anything like if you just got to put out one bale it's still an hour job um, you could really shorten that down if we had something that we could use out at my place and uh, I have mentioned in the past that I've been thinking about buying about 20 to 40 head of cattle in the short to near future or near future well there is a bread heifer sale this weekend at Bloomington Livestock Exchange and I'm thinking about going there and trying to buy a few head so we'll just we'll just find out whether or not I actually buy anything uh, I do have the money in my account for it um, I discussed it with my lender and he agreed with me that it's a good idea but uh the one tough challenge that we're gonna have is a skid steer because if we're feeding that many cattle we're gonna to have to have another skid steer to kind of be a little bit more efficient. Right now our efficiencies are kind of not that good. So, uh, yes, it is rather windy and cold out here. They've got a few skid steers coming up, so what do you say we head back up and follow them down? 1086. <laughs> Now we're up in an MX 
ever driven one of these things? Truck's getting close, better head up out and see what she goes for. I don't know how many hours are on it. 4100. <laughs> So we're up here in this 7520. Uh, it just went up for auction for 50,000. And I had talked to the person who owned it as I was walking by him. He said, is this gonna be on YouTube? <laughs> yep. <laughs> he said he's watched a few uh, of my videos, but he said that it's probably gonna be used for like a TMR tractor. He said they can never have enough, which is totally true, especially for utility tractors. So it seems like a pretty good unit. Uh, as it was going up for auction, the previous owner said that it had to be sold due to medical reasons. And, uh, I don't know, seems like he took pretty good care of it. It's a typical farm tractor. I just wanted to hop up in here and have a look and uh, just see what kind of condition it was in. I like seeing the condition and then comparing it to the price that they go for. And it seems like so far at this auction, everything is going for about the price that it should. Last year, the weather was pretty nasty and the auction was pretty drawn out. And uh, I think they're moving quite, move, they're moving right along this year. So we're gonna hop out and uh, head back down there and just see what else goes up for auction, see what it goes for. Um, definitely not gonna be getting a uh, new skid loader at this auction, especially for what they're going for. Um, for what they're going here, I could, I already have something else in mind that I could go and buy and I've been on the fence about it, so. Not today. But if there's anything else, I definitely wanna sit and listen and see what else any other skid loaders go for. The reason that there are a lot of New Holland skid loaders on this auction, I noticed, is because there are Scots. Scots threw a couple of them on, and uh, they didn't have too many skid loaders. They didn't have too many last year either, but they just kind of sprinkled the skid loaders all throughout. And uh, oh, there's the cursed square baler again. All right, let's head back down and go back to the auction. Here's a New Holland L218, 451 hours on it. I'm noticing a pattern, however. Seems like most of the skid loaders on this auction are New Hollands. I wonder why. Honestly, it's a pretty nice little skid loader. Let's see what she goes for. 
There's one thing about this Agco RT120. Headspace is a little crowded. I can really see myself thwacking my head up against the ceiling right there. <laughs> got back to the truck uh, Scott's auction is pretty well over with it really didn't seem like they had as many pieces of equipment here as they did last year but uh, obviously it's gonna vary year to year um, they didn't have what seemed to be as many track as much of a tractor selection and even skid loaders really just didn't seem like they had all that much a bunch of um, skid loaders from Scott's but uh, none of them went for any astounding low prices. I saw a few pieces of equipment that didn't even meet the reserve, whatever they were. And, uh, I don't know. Try, just have to try again next year, I guess. And, uh, we'll see where things go from here. This weekend, I'm looking at going to the Bloomington Livestock Exchange and buying 20, roughly at, at most 20 this weekend, um, breeding cows. So, cows or heifers, we'll see. But anyway, just kind of giving you guys an idea on what's going on around here, what's in the loop. This winter has just been relentless. It's not giving up. Um, the time changes this weekend already. It just seems like it shouldn't be spring, <laughs> which I guess it's not actually spring yet, but usually by March, I mean, the snow is pretty well melted. At least it has been the last few years. So This winter's given us a run for its money. <laughs> time to head home. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.